It's your boy Commando Jones, back again with another one. You already know what we're watching today, it's another SSF, there's no mystery. Today we're going to be watching the Black, um, Musician and Horror Story Animation by, uh, you already, you already know, Wad, yeah, Wasi and, wait, no, Wasi Entertainment, damn it. <laughs> damn it. This incident happened about 10 years ago. Back then, I got robbed of money every day by bullies in my neighborhood. Damn. They always gathered around in the alley and took money from passerbys. But I had to run into them all the time. Damn. Time. Because the alley was on the way to my house. Damn. Why are we starting off so early? <laughs> then one day, what the I hell? didn't take it anymore. It's as if you're going to never that rough. Money, and they beat me up. I came home crying. Ow. And I couldn't stand the outburst of anger. Goodness gracious. Why are we starting <laughs> Pain. I finally made up That's my mind. That's crazy. What the hell? Revenge. Oh. However, I mean, hey. Get that, get that revenge art. Huh? <laughs> Wasn't like this from the beginning. First stage. All of this was just because of a flyer I ran uh, into on the street. There was a sentence written on it. We, we take, take revenge, revenge for you with, with black magic. Right. I called yeah, them out of black curiosity magic. I'm so and asked what this is. And they said that they offer okay. services of punishing someone who you want to punish on behalf of you. Eventually, I huh. went there out of curiosity. And with yeah, a bit curiosity. Of vote, curiosity filled the cat. The <laughs> ah. There were many large skeleton models standing oh, there. And suddenly... The... The skeletons turned their heads towards me and ran All up cap. Me, creaking. I fell on my back because I was startled. But when I regained consciousness, the skeletons were not moving, but remaining still. It was as if I saw an illusion for a moment, but it really felt like it was moving. Damn. The man sitting inside said, What you see and what you don't see, both are true. What you just saw is real. I realized that he had a spell. I ran up to him and said, There is someone I want to punish. How can I do that? <laughs> I love how the voice acting's like in and, and out. Saying he, that he wouldn't take the blame like, no matter what happened. There's pauses. I said it's okay. The paper like, he handed me had numerous <laughs> monsters to choose from. Starting with low class oh. demons, there were dozens of different types Dang, of I'm monsters. Dang, I'm what this elder? World <laughs> drawn on it, including a three headed dog and a five headed snake monster. Also, the cost of summoning each monster varied as well. Lastly, there even was a death god. The cost of summoning the death god oh, was incredibly my high. I asked in a trembling voice, Can you even summon the death god? He said, It is possible, but of course it is up to him whether or not the death god will take him to the afterlife. I pondered long and hard, and then he said, If you couldn't decide, experience it yourself. Uh, Call them here, so take a look and decide. I oh, said, oh, 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 I'm this. This man paid a thousand dollars for a hitman? <laughs> That's crazy. I chose a demon that looks like a gargoyle. Then he uttered an incantation, and after a while, the room suddenly became completely dark. Damn. Then I heard a deafening voice of a You really bought that life. And in front of me <laughs> stood a gigantic gargoyle like demon. It grabbed my neck and lifted me into the air. He said, hey. <laughs> laughing. I said, groaning in pain. How my eyes? How? Then the black magician said, smiling, I told you, it's all real. After a while, the gargoyle disappeared like smoke, and I fell to the floor. I signed a contract with him right away, and he said he would summon the demon when I want to. A few days later, I saw the gangsters gathered around in the alley. Yeah, post the lick, post the lick. See, look at him. He chanted a spell, and after a while, the alley became very dark. Then the bullies started Wait. screaming. I'm still on Looking that man close, really called had grabbed them by the a demon and was throwing them not even a de uh, the yo I don't even know but escape, just to get a little they quick they were trampled by the hidden and their like, really crushed. damn they died damn for help filled the alley it was hard to believe he's like damn I did that <laughs> what moments that? later people passing by called the police after hearing them scream and when the police arrived all of the bullies were sprawled out on the floor gasping for breath. The police speculated that they had fought with each other. The bullies said that they were attacked by a monster, but the police didn't believe them. They were all taken by ambulance. Mm -mm. And after that, I heard that all those bullies had broken bones and ruptured organs, so they underwent surgery. They were also receiving psychiatric treatment because they kept monsters. My bad, don't forget cut. They didn't show up in the alley what anymore the hell? after that, Damn. and I didn't run into them anymore. I was really surprised that the black magic had been a success. And on the other Look hand, it was secretly delightful. Giddy. But what's even more exciting is that no one knows I did that. 
<clears throat> we have to pay like 300 just for that to happen though all right so the next one is going to be the elderly couple I horror story i can't I believe all these are true to be gotta exact, be cat gotta be good. <laughs> so i was around 18 at the time <laughs> to this day i'm freaked out by it and have recurring nightmares about it and i still feel like my life is in a line even though nobody believes it Alrighty, alrighty. This is the last time I'm gonna interrupt. This story actually caught me. So I'm not gonna do no edits. Like, normally, typically, I add in some edits in there, but I ain't gonna do none. Because I didn't re realize it at all. Like, it caught me off guard. I won't lie. So this is why you should never trust what you see. Uh, okay. I took a pet <laughs> job over the summer from an elderly couple. They looked around 80 years old, so I didn't think it would be sketchy or bad in any way. True that. It was watching a cat while they left for a three-day vacation. All they said was to feed the cat every seven to nine hours. It was easy money. So fast forward to okay, the day. Just easily put I on a quick timer. House. I gather all my stuff okay. out of my car, like flashlights so <sighs> I can read. Their house is kind of dark and they don't want the lights on. And some extra clothes. Once I walked in there, there was this musty smell. This was the first weird thing that happened. It was the smell. All right, my this bad was for the first cut. weird thing that happened. It was strange because their house looked clean and tidy, but it was so faint I brushed it off. They soon that. showed me around the house. It was a decently sized house with four bedrooms and three bathrooms. It had carpet as floors, and the decorations were quite modern despite the owner's age. The old woman took me aside and showed me where I'd be sleeping. It was a nice mm -hmm. room. How's your face like that? Smell was I mean, room looks better mine. <laughs> slightly worse in this room. Like, and the damn. carpet looked lighter than the rest of the carpet around the house. I mean, it actually looks cool but from our POV. Again, I I mean, we don't know what she's like truly maybe. seeing. Like, and one of the more important parts of this story they told me was that they had a son and he lived in this house too. And his oh, okay. room was in the basement. They told me that he never came out of his room and they told me that his room was off limits because he was sensitive. Okay. Anyway, 30 minutes later they leave and this kid so and I weird. are alone. It goes smoothly for a long time, I'd say two hours, until something happens. Now, I know the rule of three red flags and then you're out. But again, I was a stupid teenager desperate for money, so I overlooked things until it was too late. I was watching TV on the bottom floor when I heard a loud slam from the basement. Now, me. usually I'd be scared, but I know that her son was down there, so I looked past it even though it was extremely off-putting. Well, fast forward a couple minutes later, and I hear the basement door slam open. I'm confused by this, because if he's supposed- That's my- that's my face right now. He lives here. Why would he feel the need to slam the door? I Again, mean, I that's pretty typical sometimes. I don't know him, so in I don't home, know where to But because I was a very stupid um, teenager, I decided I would go check on him regardless of what the old lady said. So, I get up, trying not to make too much noise, and I walk to the basement door. And lo and behold, the door was wide open and the stairs leading down were completely blacked out from mm -hmm. the absence of light. No windows, no light anywhere. So at that moment, I assumed that he had come up from the basement to get a snack. So I headed to the kitchen. But before I tell more, I didn't hear him going into the kitchen. I just assumed he did. I turned the corner and I saw him standing there. He had dark- Oh, wait, <laughs> that makes that make no sense. What? brown hair with brown eyes he looked to be african-american in his early 20s and was quite handsome so my judgment can was you tell, he's he's in i ain't gonna say that you guys go <laughs> quite a bit you guys gonna get on light step into the kitchen and he flipped his head around and looked at me nothing was too weird about this because he looked normal other than okay. the fact that he didn't talk or make any sound on the matter but what did confuse me was that his hands had two things a long rope and a kitchen knife <laughs> and right after he looked at me he whispered basement i'll admit it didn't strike me as suspicious because this was a smallish town in the year of so there weren't many defining factors to know about bad people like stalkers or killers and because the old people didn't strike me as the type to harbor a wanted criminal all i did was walk away Pardon? so unlike that phrase curiosity killed the cat in this case curiosity saved the cat as I was walking past the basement, I remembered what he said, and something finally lit up inside me, telling me something was off. And it all had something to do with this basement. So, Wait, I got my flashlight. What the hell? 
How are you able to go into the basement if he just said basement, but he came out the basement with a knife and rope? Hmm? I thankfully brought with me and walked down the stairs. It wasn't a very big basement. It had Why are you one going couch in the, the basement and a coffee table, and then the bedroom right next to it. But the defining factor was that the smell was overwhelmingly bad. It smelled like rotten eggs mixed with that musky scent throughout the house. But I bared through what it because I was hell? far too curious this on what it weird. could be. This is my but bad, guys. This is weird. As I said. <laughs> Good. Home moves weird. I opened the door to find a guy laying on the ground with a pool of blood surrounding him. Damn. He was wrapped head to toe in rope and the kitchen knife was stabbed into the wall. I was horrified, and my eyes teared up from the strong fumes. There were bugs and maggots everywhere, but then I recognized something that will haunt me forever. The person I saw was the same person I had seen in the kitchen. Wait. That's crazy. What? Same shirt, same pants, same everything. I was so horrified that I stood there in a daze until a maggot jumped on me and broke me out of it. But let me tell you, I never ran out of a house faster in my life. I lived too far away to run to, so I knocked on the farthest house I could before passing out from exhaustion and told them what happened. Apparently, the elderly couple killed three people in the bedroom I was staying in. And that's why the carpet was lighter. They bleached the entire room. The musty smell wasn't as bad in there because they killed them hours before I got there and stuffed them in the closet. Their first victim was I'm their in son, this who and killed five <laughs> days before anything This caught me, I won't lie. That is a good I one. I can't explain what happened in that house, but I'm thankful that I went down there when I did. I also don't know what happened to the elderly couple, but I hope they got what they deserved. Wow. 10 out of 10 from Wansi. I'm so sorry for pronouncing that wrong. Wansi Entertainment. Oh, oh, God damn. I'm so sorry. What? 10 out of 10. What do you guys think about that? That little cliffhanger at the ending. I wasn't expecting that. That was pretty crazy. I won't lie to you. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. But... Um, to end it off, I'm gonna end it off with some good news. We have officially solved our problem with the quality for our gameplay. I mean, our gaming, well, recording and output and all that. It's officially over. It's clean. So, yeah. You guys see some awesome gameplay soon. But, love you guys as always. Your boy Commando Jones. Catch you guys in the next one. And hopefully you enjoyed this SSF. And hopefully you are happy from this SSF. So, love you guys. Catch you guys in the next one. And, and peace.